I'm Ken Spector, and I'm here today with Lawrence Weisdorn from Vision Motor Corp. And uh, so what does Vision Motor Corp do exactly? Uh, we build large uh, Class 8 heavy-duty uh, 80,000 pound uh, big rig trucks. Okay, so uh, what exactly are we looking at here? What is this truck? What we're looking at is a hydrogen-powered um, uh, heavy-duty uh, big rig truck that's uh, highway speed capable, 65 mile an hour top end, uh, car capable of uh, 80,000 pound loads. Uh, this truck has been con Figured for um, a duty cycle of a maximum of 200 miles over an eight hour period. What is the maximum weight that a battery can power where there must be a transition over to say a hydrogen or other alternative fuel source? Correct. Uh, it's basically it's a balancing act. Um, uh, real easy way to understand that if you look down here, the hydrogen tanks, there's one tank on each side, and in the two tanks, the hydrogen. Uh, energy capacity is 580 kilowatts. Okay. Okay. The two tanks, the fuel cell system, all of the componentry weighs about 1,800 pounds. If I wanted to get 580 kilowatts worth of batteries on board, that would be approximately 18,000 pounds. So uh, for 16,000 pounds less, I get the same energy out of hydrogen versus batteries. So in other words, uh, to get the range out of a battery-only truck, I'd lose half of my carrying capacity just schlepping the batteries around. Okay. As far as the materials go, what is this truck made out of? Are there any this alternative is, no, materials? No, this is this is a conventional freight liner. Um, everything is, you know, conventional rear end, conventional transmission, and instead of having a Detroit or a Caterpillar engine in it, it's got our engine in it. So. Okay. Are these available yet? Yes, uh, we're now taking orders for them. Uh, first ones will be going into the ports within the next few months. Oh, okay, terrific, terrific. And are they going to be exported to other countries or sold domestically? Or uh, Hopefully. Uh, right now we're focused um, on the uh, port solution. Uh, the, you know, there's a lot of pollution coming out of the diesel trucks operating on the 710 freeway, and we hope to dramatically dramatically reduce it. Uh, we look at it this way. Why settle for reduced emissions when you can go to zero emissions today? How much hydrogen or power do these hold? I know that there are only a limited number of hydrogen fueling stations in the country. Yes. Um, part of our business plan is uh, it's a turnkey solution. So we provide you with the trucks and the hydrogen fueling solution. Okay, cool. Very good. Well, thank you very much. My pleasure. Take care. Great. Bye-bye.